Okay, so there's no doubt that people who actually own the celebrity industry, the people you don't hear about, the people that nobody knows their names, uh, the actual CEOs of some of these studios, these music industry record labels, um, etc., they have a lot of sway. And they have a huge vested interest in what their celebrities, whether it's actors, actresses, you know, um, musicians, what they do, what they say. And, you know, there's been a lot of theories going around the past few decades about some of these celebrities that step out of line and mysteriously turned up turn up dead right and you know there was a lot of theories especially like in the hip-hop culture hip-hop industry you get a lot of this um tupac right he he was you know some say expect illuminati put my body to sleep and then he dies whatever um michael jackson who was speculated to start uh you know coming out about this stuff and then he ends up dead but you know, there's absolutely no doubt that there's a vested interest there, right? So if some of these celebrities get out of line and start going a certain direction that the owners of that industry don't like, it does make sense that they would have people step in as handlers to influence them at the very least, to manipulate them. And if push comes to shove, to do something extremely heinous. I mean, I don't know. It's not an unreasonable thing because these celebrities have so much influence over people. Politicians don't. Politics is downstream from culture. Culture is what matters. So if the culture... I mean, culture is everything. It's everything. It's what... It's the spirit of the people. It's what influences them. And if you can control that, well, then you can control the minds of the people. And if you control the minds of the people, you can control how they act and what they vote for, what they buy, what they listen to, everything. You own their soul. So, yeah. People who like power want to control cultural icons. There's no doubt about that. Now, I want to talk about something that happened today. And this, uh, I see this and I, and I think, yeah, I know what's going on here. There's something very suspicious happening. So, Aaron Carter died today at 34 years old. First of all, very sad. Very, very sad. Heart goes out to his family. Um, but let's just check this out, right? Aaron Carter, the American pop singer and actor, behind songs like I Want Candy and That's How I Beat Shaq, has died. The Hollywood Reporter and TMZ Report and Pitchfork has confirmed. Carter, has, uh, Carter was found dead on Saturday, November 5th, in his home in Lancaster, California. Police arrived at the scene after a 911 call was made claiming that the musician had drowned in the bathtub. Yeah, that seems normal. That seems like a normal way to die. So, that supposedly is what happened, right? Okay, very suspicious, very weird. I mean, drowning in the bathtub? I could see drowning in the pool. I mean, that's even suspicious, right? Maybe drowning in a lake, you know, swimming out to the lake. Maybe you're swimming to the island to jump off some cliffs. That's what we used to do. But, um, you know, drowning in your bathtub, it just seems like it'd be really hard to do. That's something like a baby does, right? That doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a conspiracy theorist. No, you have a mind of your own, right? That doesn't make sense. So... Really interesting. What did Aaron Carter tweet yesterday? Just yesterday. He said, yo, Kanye, let's talk man to man. Okay. Now, yay, as many of you know, he's been calling out a certain group of people who have a lot of control in Hollywood. 
and the music industry. Um, now, you caught Kanye on the Lex Friedman podcast a week or two ago now. Where Lex says to him, look, instead of calling this group of people out, this cultural, ethnic, religious group, uh, you know who I'm talking about, right, guys? Um, you got to call out the individuals themselves because you shouldn't demonize like a whole culture, a, a whole civilization of people that have, you know, <laughs> experienced troubles in the past, kicked out of like 192 countries or something like that. I don't know what the exact number is, but a lot of countries throughout the past, you know, couple millennium, um, which is kind of interesting in and of itself that that's the case, but uh, I don't know. But like, um, you know, Lex says, hey, you know, you should start calling out these people by the the individual. And I do agree with that, by the way. You know, like, I guess Lex sort of lit a fire under Ye's ass because um, that's what Ye's doing. And there's some pretty wild stuff coming out. So Kanye tweets this out. Two days ago, just before Aaron Carter, just before Aaron Carter tweeted, yo, yay, let's talk. So, Ye says, what should be obvious by now is that I was raised to stand for my truth regardless of the consequences. So I will say this again. I was mentally misdiagnosed and nearly drugged out of my mind to make me a manageable and well-behaved celebrity. And here's the main character of the story here. His name's Harley Pasternak. You'll see, you'll see. And this is a tweet from Harley to Kanye. I'm going to help you... Uh, one of a couple ways. First, you and I sit down and have a loving and open conversation, but you don't use cuss words, and everything that is discussed is based in fact and not some crazy stuff that some dumb friend of yours told you or saw in a tweet. Second option, I have you institutionalized again where they medicate the crap out of you and you go back to zombie land forever. Play date with the kids just won't be the same. Wow, that's super messed up. So this guy, Harley, is saying to Ye that um, that he better shut the heck up. And if he doesn't, he's basically threatening to do what was done before, to drug Ye up and have him hospitalized again. Um, so it sounds like the first hospitalization was the result of manipulation from this guy, Harley Pasternak. Now, who is Harley Pasternak? Well, first of all, look at those eyes. The eyes never lie, Chico. Harley Pasternak is a quote-unquote personal trainer who is connected and has trained, personally trained, right? Um, all of these different celebrities, a long, long list of celebrities that he has had for clients. Adam Levine, Lady Gaga, Kim Kardashian, Kanye West, Megan Fox, John Mayer, Amy Schumer, Ariana Grande, Charlie Puth, Jessica Simpson. I mean, the list goes on and on. Usher... Uh, you have Seth Rogen, Robert Downey Jr., Halle Berry, Bono. Oh, yeah. A lot of these people are connected to Hillary Clinton, too. Rihanna, Mac Miller. Oh, he's dead, isn't he? Died in 2018. Alicia Keys. Yeah, isn't that interesting? And we're going to read this thread. Because this lays out all of the suspicious activity. <laughs> Man. It, 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 talk about <laughs> handlers, right? I think we, we, we found one. I think we found one. How this industry works. 
and this is like I said it's been speculated about for a long time now all this stuff is coming out by the grace of God I believe um I mean this is really extremely evil stuff I mean think about this on the face of it just from what we've seen so far Harley pa Pasternak texting yay and saying look we're gonna get you institutionalized and drugged up again if you don't shut the fuck up wow that's so evil man that's so evil what he says about his kids like your kids won't you know <laughs> visits with the children just won't be the same whoa who is harley Pasenick? The the man whom kanye west uh by the way big thanks to patrick casey for this uh, tweet. Um, uh, awesome, awesome dissident right uh, Twitter account and YouTube creator as well. Who is Harley Pasternak? The man who Kanye West has accused of trying to institutionalize him, drug him into oblivion, and take his kids away. As it turns out, he's his personal trainer who is connected to psych operations and the Canadian military. Wow. So. What's really interesting is. The Wikipedia page by the way. For Harley Pasternak. Has been changed over the past 24 hours. Um, I'm going to leave a link to this thread. Because all the information really is in this thread. From Restoring Order. Patrick Casey, um, where it, 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 a lot of it was changed and there's, <laughs> there's a lot of things, obviously they don't want us to know. You can see this is the new, um, Wikipedia and the old Wikipedia from like 48 hours ago, which can be fine. You can literally look this up on, you know, archive, uh, you know, the way back machine and, you know, show this for sure. Uh, you know, the, the list of clients is gone. Um, his connections with yay and other things, uh, are, were manipulated and, and removed. Um, and certain things added to the Wikipedia as soon as this information came out. Really interesting. Um, yeah, someone recently removed the Pasternak Wikipedia entry Two main things, any reference to Kanye West and the lengthy list of his former clients. Isn't that curious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's a list of Harley's noteworthy clients. Some doesn't, uh, someone doesn't want you to see this. Note that some of um, his former clients had mental breakdowns. You notice that's like a common thread with some of these big celebrities? People like Brittany Murphy, Mac Miller, both died at a very young age, and others. Also worth noting is that the fact that Kanye West was hospitalized in late 2016. Where was he on the onset of his alleged breakdown? Harley Pastor Nick's home, of course. So in 2016... When the actual ambulance came and, and Ye was handcuffed, he was at Harley Pasternak's home at the time. And note that the text message from Pasternak threatened to have him institutionalized again. Wow. But who is Harley Pasternak? He's a personal trainer, right? Let's take a look at his background. At first glance, nothing stands out. Just an educated man with a master's degree in exercise and nutrition science. But that isn't the full story. What else do we have here? Oh, he worked for the Canadian military, the Department of National Defense. That's for the Canadian military. As a scientist. And he fo his focus was on physiology and nutrition with a specialty in caffeine and ephedrine, so drugs. Wow, okay, okay. The Department of uh, National Defense is the Canadian government's department which supports the Canadian Armed Forces. It's the equivalent of like the DOD here in the US. Um, 
So he also worked as a scientist in Toronto um, under the Canadian military uh, at some of their research stations. Um, what sort of stuff is um, researched at the Department of uh, Research and Development for Canada's, uh, Canada's military? Uh, human systems integration, social and psychological factors that affects the resolution of conflict, psychological, the psychology of malicious intent, social and cultural factors influencing behavior. Huh. So, psyops. Got it. Now, let's look at this clip from not long ago where Pasternak is talking about how he's done a lot of research in different drugs and stuff. And the area of that I was interested in was how drugs and food affect muscular performance. And what, when you say drugs, are that like performance enhancing drugs? Are they oh, all just, kinds of drugs? Oh, right. Okay. So working for the military, I wasn't governed by the same laws that the typical person was. So I could look at the impact of certain drugs that are not that are not everyday things. So we looked at a drug called modafinil, okay. which was for narcoleptics. So if you give a soldier this um, drug, uh, how long could they stay awake for without uh, having any health? detriment <coughs> is, that, is that used now as a, one of these brain drugs I've, I've, I've heard the name before somewhere yeah so it's uh, it's very interesting modafinil it will keep you awake but it's not a stimulant really so if a special forces person has to stay awake for three nights waiting for the right opportunity to do whatever they have to do we could give them modafinil and it would keep them alert I did uh, research on a drug called acetazolamide, which is for use at high altitudes so you don't get altitude sitting. And not only that, um, the DND also includes like a subset in that depart in that uh, in that organization called the Defense Research Board, which literally funded MK Ultra, as did the CIA. Huh. <laughs> Man, you can't make this stuff up, can you? Can you, boys? And, by the way, as well, another interesting tidbit of info. Harley Pasternak also sits on the board of advisors of Optima Health Corp., a company that grows EU GMP-grade psilocybin and manufactures synthetic psychedelics. This is how the, the you know... These celebrities are often controlled if they step out of line. If they don't, if they go along with the system. It's there isn't much necessary. You know these 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 guys are 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 brought in though as a handler, especially to those celebrities. I think that want to step out of line or try to have a voice of their own, a mind of their own, and not go along with the woke agenda, not go along with the new world order plan. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> Pretty shady stuff. So, really interesting. And Aaron Carter tweeting this out. Right when Ye exposes this guy, names Harley Pasternak. As if Aaron Carter was like in the background. Yo, yeah, let's talk man to man. Let's have a conversation about this because I know what you're getting at here and we can maybe get together and just start exposing. Maybe he had a different handler. I tried to research Aaron Carter and Harley Pasternak and to see if there was a connection between the two. I couldn't find it. But that doesn't mean that Aaron at one point didn't have his own handler and that maybe a so-called union could be formed, right? You know, they have unions. They have the Starbucks employees right now trying to create a union for the, for the employees, for the workers, Okay, whatever. Like, I don't really have much of an opinion on that. But, you know, why don't the celebrities have a union against these handlers? It's like, <laughs> workers' rights, right? <laughs> you know, like, celebrity rights. They do have rights, you know. They, they, this is very sad what's happening. You see a lot of these celebrities have breakdowns and stuff because of these druggings and, han you know, manipulations from these handlers of different sorts. You know, the whole Britney Spears saga. 
when she kind of like shaved her head and went nuts. Yeah, there was something going on with that. I have no doubt. And then the conservatorship too. I think that was just out in the open, you know, manipulation of her, right? Um. So so, it's it's just very telling, and and th- there's a satanic cult that controls Hollywood, and it's very evil. And a lot of these celebrities probably would like to speak out, but they can't. And, you know, because of, uh, oftentimes because people have Stockholm Syndrome in certain ways, and they'll just convince themselves, uh, that a lot of them are true believers, because even if they have a thought or two that goes outside of the agenda, they'll instantly convince themselves that the agenda is good, because it's convenient for them to do that, and they don't want to have the um, the uh, the chaos within um, to think that maybe they're going along with an evil agenda. So they just trick themselves and, you know, convince themselves subconsciously that uh, what they're doing is good. So I don't think, like, all of them want to speak out about some of the evil things that go on. But some of them do and are just afraid. Maybe Aaron was one of those. And as soon as, <laughs> you know, it's like they see they see Kanye having the courage to speak out and they, they, they all want to start speaking out. It gives, it gives them motivation, especially if they can, uh, you know, talk to each other, but it's very suspicious what happened here. He says this and then he ends up dead in the bathtub and drowned. Yeah. Those bathtubs are deep. I'm sure it makes no sense. Anyways, I'll leave links. Let me know what you guys think. If you like my channel, if you want to, uh, subscribe, please do on, here on YouTube, BitChute, Odyssey, and Rumble as well. Um, and then also, if you want to become a Patreon to help support the channel, that is available in the description below as well. PayPal and Crypto Link, uh, crypto Wallets too. Um, and then you can follow me also on Twitter and Gab. Join the Telegram group if you want to. We, have, we share a lot of good info in there and stuff. Uh, t.me slash Resisting the Reset. It's been Press. Keep your head up, stay real, and no fear.